The Simpsons performed their greatest hits all in one musical extravaganza. Who rigs every Oscar night? A brand new episode tonight on Fox. In the Battle of the Senses, there is a new warrior. Ask Harriet, series preview tonight after The Simpsons. I'll be stacked. Why the long face, chum? It's my car. Let me show you how things could have been. Chrysler and Plymouth presents It's a Wonderful Event. Now get 1500 cash back on Plymouth Neon. Get Chrysler Series LXI for $18,495. Or get up to 1000 cash back on Plymouth minivans. Say, are you an angel? You watch too many movies, friend. Advanced Auto Parts presents part number 19. Don, our battery expert. You never know when your battery's going to die. But when it does, Don is here to help. Just let Don know what kind of car you drive, and he'll make sure you get the right battery. Better yet, get your car in here, and Don will install an Autocraft battery for you. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. The Bartons see thousands of cars and trucks. We select the very best to be featured as the Tom Barton Signature Series cars and trucks. Not quite new, gently used, and thousands of dollars less. Come see the cream of the crop, thoroughly inspected and reconditioned. With our three-day, 300-mile return policy and extensive factory warranties. At the Tom Barton Signature Series, only at Beach Ford and Barton Ford Lincoln Mercury. Get the best of the best and spend less. Beach Ford. Barton Ford Lincoln Mercury. I know the perfect place, Bora Bora. Hubba Hubba. Rest and relaxation. I'm a little hot in these clothes, aren't you? I'm sweating like the pig that knows he's dead. Fear and loathing. Razor? Oh, my God! On Frasier. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox 33. Count on by with jazz artist Kenny G and supermodel Tyson Beckford. Get wound up on Vibe. Living single weeknights at 5 and 7 on Fox 33. Dockers Halftime. Brought to you by Dockers Khakis. The next best thing to home field advantage. Hey, <laughs> nice pants. Tampa Bay Buccaneers with only 85 total yards in the first half. Two turnovers, squandered three scoring opportunities, and trailed the Packers by the score of 13 and nothing. As we welcome you back field side here, Ronnie, as you take a look at the first half, squandered opportunities by the Bucs, good defense by the Packers. Yeah, good defense by the Packers. And what's happening is that secondary has stepped up. And one of the things that you got to look at right here is that Leroy Butler is coming off the corner. He's doing an excellent job of putting pressure. He stays with the blitz right here. He stays after Trent Dilfer, and that's what you have to have. Doug Evans, Doug Evans, Leroy Butler, this secondary is playing big. Howie, they have to continue to put pressure. That's what you pointed out earlier. Uh, two defensive tackles in this game that have really exemplified their play, Warren Sapp and Gilbert Brown. Here, Gilbert Brown comes off the double team, stifles the running game. As John Madden pointed out, he's in a phone booth. Well, here, let's take a look. Gilbert Brown, you can't double him. You try to single him, give movement, he's down the line. Gilbert is angry. The only place where one guy beats two, my old D-line coach used to say, is in the movies. Well, Gilbert's, Gilbert's killing that theory. Well, you know, one of the other things we talked about, Tony Dungy wanted to make Green Bay go one-dimensional in the first half. Absolutely no running game, but the thing is there was Brett Favre, 237 pounds, out of the field, out of the backfield, scrambling, hitting Freeman on a big 21-yard gain, and then Shamura on another scramble. A bigger quarterback, a scrambling quarterback. He is one-dimensional, but the problem is he can make those plays. Opportunities, yes, they were squandered by Tampa Bay in the first half. And Tampa Bay's special teams have traditionally played well this year, not so far in the first half. All right, folks, coming up later today on NBC, what should be an excellent game between Denver and Kansas City to determine the next team to advance to the AFC Championship. And standing by with Denver head coach Mike Shanahan is our own Eric Clemens. Two. Here just outside the locker room with coach Mike Shanahan. Mike, first of all, how difficult was it to get your team refocused after that emotional win last week, refocused on the job at hand this afternoon? Well, it's a do-or-die situation. Very easy to get our team uh, refocused. Uh, you know, it was a win at Jacksonville. That's not our goal. 
So we've had a great week of preparation, and it should be a great matchup. Weather conditions here have been nasty, to say the least. You got freezing rain earlier today. It stopped right now. Will that affect game planning for you at all? Well, it all depends on how bad it is, but we've practiced in this uh, quite a bit this year. It's been, we've been very fortunate to have this type of weather and practice in these, these type of conditions. So if it is sleeting or raining or whatever the situation is, at least we've been through it. Okay, now talk about Terrell Davis. He's nursing the bruised ribs. Is he going to wear the flag jacket today? Is he going to need any pain-killing injections or anything like that? Right now, he says he feels uh, at 100%. He feels uh, quite well. Uh, I'd say he's at 100%. Uh, he's not going to need any painkiller, and he's not even sure if he's going to wear the flag jacket, so we'll just have to wait and see. Final question for you, Coach. If the team is executing like you would expect today, what will we see from the Broncos in, in hopes that they'll be successful? Hopefully we can move the ball and stop them. You know, it's going to be <laughs> one of those knockdown, drag-out fights. Uh, two very good football teams, very competitive, and uh, the one that uh, can keep from turning the football over, I think, will win the football game. Coach, good luck to you. Okay. Continued success. Thanks. Coach Mike Shanahan here outside the locker room. Kickoff coming up in just a few. Let's send you back to Green Bay and James Brown. JB? All right, Eric, thank you very much. Marty Schottenheimer, only 5 and 10 in the playoffs, looking to improve on that. All right, Terry, let's see if you can hold a count. 20 seconds more. <laughs> what do you think will happen in the second Don't half? Don't forget, the last time that Tampa Bay came here, they, had a, they were down 21-3 to 3 at halftime and dominated the second half. The big plays have been there for Tampa Bay in the first half. They haven't taken advantage of them. How do you do, fellas? He's good. I heard good. that. Right. He's really good. All right, right, folks, off of him. January 18th, the 48th NHL All-Star Game, North America against the world. Eric Lindros and John LeClaire for North America against Peter Forsberg and Yaramir Yager. Second half with Pat and John after this. Thursday, New York Undercover is back with a whole new team. CIA, Cuban assassins, what's going on? Well, that's what we're getting paid to find out. They'll tell any lie. How far are we willing to go? Whatever it takes. Create any deception. I'm contact on this one. Real close contact. Commit any crime. You want me to bug the CIA? All in the name of justice. You play by my rules. New York Undercover returns Thursday at 9, 8 Central. The metal is funny, you know, it has its own personality. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, right? You had to study it and fit it and figure it out, you know. What's bigger than Super Bowl, tell me? Millions and millions of people watch it, right? That's the biggest thing of my life. After it's polished up the trophy, right? We didn't even breed on it. That's gotta be perfect. I tell you, you know what I'm always afraid of when they all hold it and everything. I said, gee, don't drop it, please. <laughs> Look at me. See? Get goose pimples. Ah, it's what a feeling, I tell you. I'm Mark Tremere, tight end for the Green Bay Packers, and this is my family, my wife Linda and my son Dylan. As new parents, we know the joy and love you feel for your child, and also the responsibility ensuring that they'll grow up to be healthy and safe. At this United Way funded child care center, we're seeing the real impact these programs have in the lives of people who really need our help. NFL and the United Way are making better communities for all of us to live in. The NFL, the United Way, and you, the power of teamwork. On January 18th, a classic NHL event becomes a world war as the NHL on Fox returns with the 48th All-Star Game. In an Olympic preview, Canada's Gretzky and America's Leclerc unite to lead Team North America against the rest of the world. World War III will be fought on ice. Coverage begins Sunday, January 18th at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. Welcome back to Lambeau Field, where the score is Green Bay 13, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers nothing. This first half highlight is brought to you by 1-800-COLLECT. Brett Favre. For the Packer touchdown to the tight end, Mark Chamora. They added two field goals and will return to Lambeau Field for the start of the second half after these messages from your local Fox station. You're watching the NFC Divisional Playoff on Fox. Chairman's Award is not about being the biggest in sales. It's about being the very best in serving the customer. Ford Motor Company's recognized us. Our customers have recognized us as providing the best level of service. The actual award is a, is a trophy. It's a, well, it's a big 
piece of, uh, you want to try to describe it? It'd be like winning the Super Bowl. Among the largest Ford dealers in America, Freedom Ford is in the top three in customer satisfaction. I hope it tells our customers we're just a different kind of dealership. You should never forget an anniversary. I'm sorry! That's why at Golden Corral, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary with a sale you won't forget. Our inch-thick sirloins, our juicy ribeye, all seasoned to perfection, all on sale. Starting with our half-pound sirloin dinner with salad and potato, just $4.99. Golden Corral steaks, almost too good to believe. Well, it's almost over. Your chance to get big savings. But there's still time. It's the Chevy Make Your Money Count year-end event, where you can get low 2.9 APR financing or great cashback savings on a huge selection of Chevy cars and trucks. We call it a great deal on the 98 Chevy of your dreams. But you better hurry, because if you don't get to the Chevy Make Your Money Count year-end event by January 5th, it's lights out. Hurry. The year-end event at your local Chevy dealers ends January 5th. Khadija's out of control. I found these in the coffee machine. I can't quite make out what it is, but at least I got... Her friendship with a childhood pal is heating up. I may have wrecked a 20-year friendship over a few hours of fun. Okay, I'd say that's a fair trade. On the next Living Single. Monday at 5 and 7 on Fox 33. We've got two words for your nighttime entertainment. Sin and bad. Hey, what, what are you doing? No, it's not two words. It's one word. Sinbad. Catch Sinbad is the host of I. Weeknights at 10 on Fox 33. Halftime just about over. Both the teams are out of the locker rooms. 13-0. Green Bay leads Tampa Bay. And let's have a look at the halftime statistics. Fifty-three yards rushing by Tampa Bay, thirty-two passing yards, two turnovers for the Bucks, one by the Packers. And the big big thing as far as I can see is that the Bucks had not been able to score after they got a turnover. Yeah, that's that's the thing, or they or any other opportunities. I mean they got in in scoring range three times. And they had to go for field goal to attempt three times. One was blocked. Remember, the first yeah. one was blocked. The second one, they tried an option play that didn't work. And then on the third one, they had a bad snap over the holder's head. So, so the Buccaneers did have the ball. They won yeah. the time of possession. They had the opportunities, but they just didn't take advantage of those opportunities. What'd you do during the halftime, John? Yeah, I, I, I talked to Steve Mariucci, the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers, because I was just wondering what they were doing. And he said what they're doing is the players right now are watching this game, and they're going to come in and have a meeting after the game's over. Then they'll go over yesterday's game film and start getting ready for the winner of this game. You mean uh, you didn't get a chance to get anything to eat or anything? No, no, no. Well, I got something to eat out there. I mean, I talked to Matt Millen out there, yeah. and, and he was he was eating what I was supposed to be eating, so I didn't get to eat <laughs> everything I was going to eat. He'll do that. And then I got Steve Mariucci on the phone, yeah. and he was watching yesterday's game film. He's watching this game. The players are watching this game. He said they've taken off both teams. They've gotten ready for both of these teams already. There's Matt Millen right there.